Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly love message. Normally your weekly love quickie message, but we're doing weekly love with a Lenormand end. So at the end, we're going to be using my Lenormand cards to pick a card for you. This is the magical, or excuse me, I always want to say magical, it's the mystical Lenormand by Regula Elizabeth Victor. Well, it's mentioned down below if you're interested. I love them. I've had a lot of Lenormand decks and it's by far one of my favorites. The pictures are nice and clear. So we are going to start as usual with our angel answer cards. And as you know, if you've been here before, this this card either answers your question that you have at the end of the reading, or it becomes a part of the reading. So, Aquarius. Let's get a card for Aquarius. Four, three, whoa. Okay, too many cards. Put them back. We don't do that. We like and like, we like, sorry, we like a nice, concise reading. So, three, two, hello, see that? Whenever they hear me counting, they're like, okay, let's give her what she wants. <laughs> here we go. I'm all for shimmel here, as my mom would say. Oh, I'm not supposed to look. <laughs> oh, boy, sorry. I'm a little airy this morning, apparently. Pisces, Pisces. <laughs> Aquarius, I am so sorry. Aquarius, you're getting the short end of the stick. Actually, you're not getting the short end of the stick because you've got two romance angel oracle cards. You've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Who are you thinking of? Wow. The romance of a lifetime. Now, I am aware of what's going on in the world, but I have to say that romance comes in so many forms. And uh, being Gemini, for me, sometimes the romance is in the words. Uh, love yourself first, Aquarius. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. I think that with all that's going on in the world, that people are, are having issues, but we're defining what we want and we're, I think it's forcing us to be more clear and to take greater steps towards learning what are your boundaries. Because if you are, say, at home all the time and your partner is too and you're, you know, working with the kids or you're, you know, trying to study and whatever is going on, the boundaries have to be more clearly defined. And by setting boundaries, you show how you love yourself. If you have no boundaries, then it appears that you don't matter as much. And this is a, a learning thing. And this only has come over the last however many years because I'm not exactly 20 anymore. Mentally sometimes, yes, but <laughs> literally, no, no, not exactly. <laughs> Look at some cards for Aquarius. Tell us a little more about their weekly love for Aquarius. Okay, we got a bunch of cards that all flipped out. <gasps> Ace of Swords. This is a victory. And it is swords. This is speaking. This is writing. This is communication. So um, whoever you're thinking about, are they maybe, maybe you feel that your communication is improved so much and maybe in communication they have offered you their cup of love. <laughs> this is the, the Knight of Cups. This is the beginning. This is this is someone that you already know. This is not brand spanking new because it's not the Page of Cups. It's the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who maybe you've been communicating with. Maybe you already, maybe you feel the, that communication connection. And I say communication connection because... I mean, there are people you meet and you think, wow, you know, what I wouldn't do to, you know, plant one on them. You know, I want to kiss them or, you know, they, they make you excited in a passionate way, but they don't like touch your mind. And to me, that whole Gemini thing, I really feel that they have to, it's not just, you know, passion, but it's got to be your heart. It's got to be my mind. And this, I feel like this could be all that. Now you got the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a partial victory. So what I'm wondering is, maybe this is a new start, but maybe it's a new start from a past person only because 
we're in that Mercury retrograde and he's got five swords and he left two behind. So I'm wondering if this is a person who you had, a, well, I want to say a false start. Maybe you had a false start with this person once before. And so this is a new opportunity. And the moon, well, Aquarius, this is, in this picture, you would be the lobster. To go or not to go. There is this long journey ahead, but the road is gold. And it's not gonna be easy because you have to pass what looks like a, like a wolf and a dog who are howling at the moon. And I think that you're, you have some angst about this. You're, you're not so sure how you feel about this relationship. And I do believe that it's because of your past experience. So I can't answer anything for you. What I can tell you Aquarius is if you feel this is true love and you have established your boundaries in what you will or won't accept. And if they have accepted this and offered their cup of love, it's up to you whether you want to move away or not. With the moon card here, I want to say that you have fears, but if the lobster wants to go anywhere, he really has no choice but to face those fears. So to me, this says, do you want it? Do you want them? Then you have no choice but to face your fears. So, Aquarius, let's see. Your angel answer oracle card is not the right time. So, <laughs> because I don't know if you remember this, but I did say that this is someone you had a false start with. This I think is saying it wasn't the right time. Now, if this is somebody that's brand new, then I would say, you know, maybe you have to wait a little longer for the world to open up. You know, wait until we all stop being afraid to come out of our, uh, our emotional safety spot because the lobster is in water, which is emotion. And it's very rugged right now because look what's going on in the world. It's not comfortable. So I don't know if this is not the right time. This is for you to determine, not me. Is it, was it not the right time because you've already been there? Or is it not the right time now? If this is a new relationship, I want to say that maybe, maybe it's not the right time. But Aquarius, it's up to you to determine that. So let's get you a Lenormand card. These are that the cards I was talking about. I love them. They have such pretty pictures. Let's see. A Lenormand card for Aquarius. Okay, what'd we get for you, Aquarius? You got <gasps> the moon. Now the moon is not like the moon in the tarot deck. In this, it's actually a good card. So you got the moon twice, but completely different meanings. In the Lenormand deck, the moon is, okay, first of all, let me find the number because God help me, I'll never remember them. It's number 32 in this deck. Now, there are different translations in some cases for Lenormand, and this is the mystical Lenormand. <clears throat> and she says the moon denotes that you can count on success, acknowledgement, and promotion. It stands for intuition, psychic powers, and the soul. So maybe this is about that special connection, and that's why you got the Ace of Swords. And your intuition, this, in this case, the moon does say your intuition. Do you feel it's the right person? Do you feel it's the right time? Those are the things you have to think about, Aquarius. But just remember, love yourself first. Okay? Thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Have a great week. Lots of love. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye-bye.